Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless. I'm Captain Soraya to my right here. So Joshe. Oh, praise the Most High. So we'd like to welcome you back again to 15 minutes with the captains, okay? 15 minutes with the captains, all right? We're going to jump right into it, all right? Our day's topic or this class topic will be learn not the way of the heathen, okay? Brothers and sisters, we all have learned the ways of the heathen, not realizing, okay, we've been brought up here in America according to God's word, to this Bible, which is the book of our father, which is our history book. We all have learned the ways of the heathen. But I'm telling you now to deprogram, okay, and reprogram your mind, deprogram your mind to the ways of the heathen and reprogram to the God's ways of keeping his high holy days, okay? Not holidays, but holy days, okay? According to the Bible, we got uh, 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 these pagan holidays, okay? That's what they call pagan holidays, all right? For instance, you got January. We call ourselves celebrating New Year's in the dead of the winter, okay? And everything's dead. February comes is, is Valentine's Day, all right? We all don't took part of that, even as little kids, all right? Uh, uh, want some candy and lollipops and, and giving, will you be my valentine? That's the way of the heathen. That's not God's holy days, okay? we Here it is, March, okay? Now we will run, walk around here talking about uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, wearing shamrocks and, and wearing, looking like leprechauns, wearing green, okay? Then here's the month of April come. You, you call yourself celebrating Easter, Okay, there again, that's another pagan heathen uh, 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 holiday, not a holy day, okay? Uh, even, matter of fact, they say that April the 1st, they say April's, April fool. Yeah, you are a fool if you're keeping all these pagan holidays, these heathen holidays. Yes, you are a fool. That's exactly right. You don't did them all year long. When it comes to April, you're a fool, and you're starting all over again. You're going to be a fool again for a whole nother year. But let me help you out. Then come May, Mother's Day. All right, listen, we love mama. Don't get me wrong. We, we men up here, we've we been little boys. We know mama got to nurse and take care of us, okay? We understand that. But the Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother, okay? So it don't leave out the father. But, yeah, I know you say, well, what about June? It's Father's Day. Yeah, that's right. But we not to honor them as, as pagans, okay? God never gave us these days to worship and, and, and worship our mothers and worship our fathers, okay? We're supposed to worship God and God and him alone, okay? That's what we're supposed to worship. Come July, you think you uh, 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 want to cook out and uh, uh, send out pop firecrackers and carry on? You, you call yourself talking about we're going to have a cookout. It's 4th of July. I don't even know what 4th of July is because I'm saying that because one time I didn't, you know? Yeah, I'm American. You want to wear an American flag? We're going to go watch the fireworks, okay? Talking about now, but then you understand it's called Independence Day. Was you independent? No. In 1776, you were still a slave, okay? Just like you still are today. Don't even realize it. Talking about 4th of July, okay? Here it is, August, all right? You know good and well somewhere in August. We don't really have no particular holy day there, but we was looking it up and found out. In August, it come talking about it's a watermelon day. Lord have mercy, where they get that from? I don't think they even know anything about watermelon if it probably went for us, okay? Because you know they mock us because we eat watermelon. Yeah, I like watermelon too. But I'd be darned if I'm going to celebrate some watermelon day. It don't make no sense. Then comes September, Labor Day. Lord have mercy, you talk about some labor. Look what our slaves had to go through. Look what our foremothers and forefathers had to go through. Yeah. You should give, a, give us a daggone day off, okay? But I'd be darned we're going to worship on that day or make it a memorial, okay? Now, y'all don't got 9-11. Y'all make a memorial out of that, okay? But when we want to celebrate the memorials of color according to the Bible, we ain't doing that, all right? October, we all know that's a given. Halloween, all right? Let's push on past that because we know that you talking about that's the devil's day. Every last one of these daggone pagan days are devil's day. And you serve and worship on these particular idols and, and, and falsehood, okay? Then November comes, you're trying to talk about Thanksgiving. Now you want to be a giver all of a sudden, talking about thanking the Lord. You should have been thanking the Lord all year, all every day of your life, okay? But that's the slaughter and massacre of our brothers, okay? The, the, the so-called 
Native Americans, the tribe of Gad, okay? So there he is talking about Thanksgiving. You're going to come together with your family over a big old table full of food, gluttoning and eating and drinking and carrying on like you ain't got no sense. And then the rest of the year, y'all cussing and, and disrespecting one another, no honor, nothing in the family, okay? We ain't fooling, you ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling the most high either. Come Christmas, here it is. Now you're talking about Christ was born on December. We already know that's a lie according to the Bible, okay? You ready to celebrate, uh, 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 talking about Christ's birthday. Yeah, that's a lie. There again, we've been bamboozled, we've been hoodwinked, okay? Then you come together with your family, somebody, you're giving gifts and carrying on. People don't appreciate what you do for them anyway. And then come back, here you is, right back at the first of the year, talking about Happy New Year's, okay? Calling yourself making a New Year's resolution, okay? Then you're taking the gifts back that they don't bother you because you don't appreciate it, okay? So we ain't stupid. Come on now. Let's get real, all right? So you call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a Christian, okay? None of these heathen, pagan holidays are holy days, okay? They're not holy days or nowhere, nowhere near Christ-like. They are nowhere near Christ-like, okay? A bunch of hypocrites. False and phony, it's a bunch of lies, okay? And if you are Christ-like, then you will keep God's ordained holy days, okay? We have holy days. We have high holy days. We even have a days of, of memorials, okay? All right? We can read in Acts 11 and 26. You don't have to go there. They can look it up. Acts 11, 26, it'll tell you where, where they came into, the disciples came to Antioch, and they were uh, called Christians, okay? Christians meaning they was Christ-like. So where in the Bible you see Christ keeping any of these so-called pagan or heathen holidays? Let's go to Jeremiah. I'll tell you what. Let's go to Jeremiah 10 and 1. Let's hear what the word of the Lord is saying. We'll clear that up right quick if Christ kept these uh, uh, holidays. Read that for me. Jeremiah uh -huh. chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O house of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It came over here on slave ships. You can read that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay? You came over here and got brainwashed, okay? But read on. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith who? Thus saith the this Lord. This ain't what I'm saying. This ain't what Hosea, soldier Hosea saying. No, thus says the Lord. Read on. Learn not the way of the heathen. What did you just say? Do what again? Learn not the way of the heathen. There again, that's the title of this, this class here. Learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? Read on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed. Don't be all surprised at the signs of heaven because you see a shooting star. Because you outside and you look up in the sky and you see a bunch of stars and they don't taught you in elementary school. That's the uh, uh, constellation of Orion and that's the, the big dipper and the little dipper. Don't be dismayed at that foolishness. Read on. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the heathen, meaning the other nations outside of the children of Israel, the 12 tribes or the children of Israel, they are dismayed at them. That's why you go in the grocery store, you looking on the on the, uh, 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 the the aisle where you check out at, and you're looking for your daggone old horoscope book. You want to know what it says about the uh, cancer or, or Gemini, or what, what, some, what name some of Libra, what some of them other old, uh, 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 Aquarius, you know, all them old foolishness, all this old pagan stuff that we've been worshiping and carrying on about, okay? Ain't got nothing to do with Christ. Christ ain't told you go look up no daggone horoscope. That's witchcraft in America. That's what you're fooling with, okay? To keep you sidetracked from keeping God's law, statutes, commandments. I know I'm getting a little stirred up here, but let's hear what the word of the Lord says. Say, be the heathen artists made it them. Read on. Verse 3. Uh-huh. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs of the people are vain. They're worthless, okay? You ain't profiting. You ain't gaining nothing, okay? If anything, you're losing your daggone mind. That's what's going on. You ain't got no common sense. Not enough to even ask a question. Why do we keep these daggone holidays? What is it about? Why are we doing this, okay? Is it in the Bible? Did God tell us to do this? No, you don't even question that, okay? So there again, that's why you become fools, Okay? Let's see, read that again from the uh, 10 and 3. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 3. Uh-huh. For the custom of the people are vain. Let's name, matter of fact, let's just, one of the, one of the biggest customs our people 
go fanatic about, we're going to read about it right here, just, just, just vaguely. Read it. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. Uh-huh. The work of the hands of the workmen. Oh, man. What that sound like? We go out there in the forest, we're going to cut a tree down, okay? Yep, that's what you do. If you didn't do it, somebody else done it for you, and you go on, or unless you go buy your, buy your own little old fake artificial tree out of Walmart or a uh, 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 Target, but there again, it's the same thing. Read on. The work of the hands of the workmen uh -huh. with the axe. Uh-huh. They deck it with silver. Oh man! And with gold. Oh yeah! Look at you already ready to put your little uh 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 uh, uh what's that old Temptation album on? Mm -hmm. Start singing Silent Night. Okay, you must don't lost your mind. Come on, brothers and sisters, it's time for us to wake up out of this sleep. Okay, day read on. They fasten it with nails uh -huh. and with the hammers. There they go. They put it together so it makes sure it stand up right. Okay, so you can deck it with that silver and gold. We ain't, this Bible's clear. Come on, we ain't putting this together. You heard it. You, I know what's going on. Your pastors, these, all these organizations that you in ain't teaching you the truth. You ain't never heard that. But you're hearing it now right here from 15 minutes with the captains, okay? Read on. That it move not. That it don't even move, okay? They are upright as the palm tree. Uh-huh. If you go back even in history, you see that they used to use the palm tree. Yeah, that, like the palm tree you see down in Florida. They were upright them. Matter of fact, I'm going to put an image up where you actually see it for yourself. They take a palm tree. There's a, a, a beer commercial, Corona beer commercial. Mm. Okay. They, they'll, they'll put that commercial on every year about this time. And next thing you know, they show the lights come on. That's what they was doing back then, and it's the same thing today. It's just in another fashion or form, okay? But read on. But speak not. Uh-huh. They must needs be born. They got to be carried. They ain't. They don't speak. They ain't no God, okay? They got to be born. In other words, we got to carry them, tote them, and move them around, okay? And I hope some of you, I ain't going to wish nothing bad on nobody, but some of you fool around with that fool, and then the tree burned down, and then that's day you know your house on fire, okay? But over some fools, then you better watch out because that could be judgment for the most high God. Are we through with that? Because they cannot go. Uh-huh. Be not afraid of them. Right. For they cannot do evil. Right. Neither also is it in them to do good. So why even, what's the use for them? They can't do evil, and they sure can't do no good, okay? If anything, they're going to have you operating and, and you maneuvering in evil because it's against the most high God, okay? That's not Christ-like. Okay, Christ never taught the disciples that. Okay, so why are we doing that, brothers and sisters? We got to wake up. It's high time to wake out of our sleep. Let's leave that alone. Let's go to Titus 1 and 14. We're wrapping it up here. I know I'm moving a little fast, but I just know that, listen, 15 minutes with the captain is just to give you a nice little snippet, give you a nice little hard awakening, okay, a little quick wake-up call, okay? So please wake up, brothers and sisters. It's high time, okay? Titus 1 and 14. Titus chapter 1, verse 14. Uh-huh. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Basically lies, made up, Jewish fables. Read on. And commandments of men. And the commandments and commandments of men that what? That turn from the truth. See, they'll make you think in the Christianity church, this is a commandment, like we're supposed to be doing this. As kids, we grow up thinking we're supposed to do this every year. These are, have, are not the commandments of the Most High God, Okay. According to the Most High God, God said, Thou shalt have no other idol before him. Okay? That's a commandment right there. So why you got that tree in your house? Okay? All right. You're going to keep playing around and think it's just a joke. But these things turn you from the truth. Because like now I'm telling you that it's not of God. You still want to be disobedient and continue to put that Christmas tree up in your house. Okay? All right. We'll move on. So if you don't want to hear the word of the Lord, but you will give an account for what you just heard. Okay? Give me Colossians 2 and 8. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and 8. Yep, we're bringing it out right here on 15 Minutes with the Captains. Yes, indeed. And I hope you're following along, turning right with us, okay? Because we ain't giving you our words. We're giving you what thus says the Lord. Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Uh-huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. That's, and that's our problem now. We've been spoiled. From little kid, we've been spoiled with a gift. A gift will even spoil the heart, okay? Through all these lies and philosophy, this brainwashing that we got. God said, beware lest any man spoil you through, the, through philosophy. We all been done that way. So we're, we're waking you up. We're trying to show you now, okay? Read on. 
and vain deceit. And there again, vain. We heard that word earlier when we read in the book of Jeremiah, okay? Vain deceit, deceit, okay? That's the, the devil is a deceiver. So it says vain, empty, lies, okay? Deceitfulness, all right? Vain deceit, read on. After the tradition of men. Oh, my great-grandmama, you know, she hung the mistletoe every year. She put the star on top of the tree. We, we got to drink this eggnog. I don't like eggnog, too. Don't get me wrong. But come on, what are we celebrating? What are we offering all these things up, all these toasts up, up to? Pagan, heathen holidays that you don't even realize this is against the Most High God. After the tradition of men, read on. After the rudiments of the world. That's what we're doing. We're following everything that the world doing. And what does it say? And not after Christ. Say that again. And not after Christ. He said, and not after Christ. That is not Christ-like. Give me uh, Psalms 96 and 5. Okay. The book of Psalms 96 and 5. And we're getting wrap it up here. I know I may run a little bit over, but we're getting ready to wrap it up here shortly. But you got to hear these words of the Lord. Psalms 96 and 5. Psalms chapter 96, verse 5. Uh huh. For all the gods of the nations. For all the gods of the nations. The, the heathens, they are the nations, okay, are what? Are idols. Are what? Are idols. They are idols. Read on. But the Lord made the heaven. But it's the most high God that made the heaven. What no uh, uh, Hercules and no Orion and all these different. And I could go into a little, lot deeper in a lot of these old, old pagan and heathen holidays and, and names, even the names of the month, even the names of the days of the week, okay, from Sunday all the way to, to back to, to Saturday, okay, are pagan heathen days, okay. They are not of God. God called it day one. Then God said day two, day three. Even the day seven was the Sabbath day, okay? Why we don't celebrate God's high, his holy days, like the Sabbath day, 52 days uh, out of a year, okay, is the Sabbath, okay? Then you got the new moon. Each month there's a new moon, all right? Then we got not Easter, but we got Passover, okay? With the children of Israel, that's right, you black, Hispanic, Native American, our forefathers and foremothers were delivered from the Egyptians, okay? Passover. Then we had a feast of Pentecost, meaning 50 days after, okay, the, the Passover was the Pentecost. The Day of Atonement, where we have a chance to repent, and that's the most high God to forgive us of all of our sins and the sins of our foremothers and forefathers, okay? But first of all, we got to make sure that we forgive our brothers and sisters, okay, before we go laying our gift to the, before the altar of God, asking him to forgive us, and we can't even forgive our own brothers and sisters. Then we got the feast of of tabernacles. Oh, man, we, we have a good time uh, uh, at the tabernacles. So all praise to the Most High. Give me Exodus 20 and 3. Exodus 20 and 3. Man, I want to keep rolling so bad, but I know I got to let this thing go. But all praise to the Most High. The word is sharper than the two-edged sword, and I hope it cuts you going in and coming out and that you're healing and get, uh, 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 get the medicine to heal that wound and get your mind right. Exodus 20 and verse 3. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Uh-huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's what we were just talking about earlier, okay? Ain't that clear? Ain't that understandable? Okay. The Old Testament ain't done away with. Give me Psalms 119 and 163, okay? Psalms 119 and 163. Man, oh, man. We so rolling. There you go. Psalms 119 and 163. Psalms chapter 119. Uh -huh. In verse 163, uh -huh. I hate and abhor lying. All these holidays. Look, I about choke trying to say it, trying to get my words right. All these holidays are lying. There's lies, okay? And But read on. But thy law do I love. So keep God's high holy days, and God will love that. He will love you for doing that because they are law that we keep God's High Holy Day. Let me get one more scripture, and I'm going to end it with this. Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear the word of the Lord, uh -huh. ye children of Israel. Mm -hmm. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yes, God has a controversy with us keeping these heathen 
holidays, okay? He has a controversy of a lot of these things that these that these holidays bring forth into our spirit and corrupt us as a people. Read on. Because there is no truth. Because there what? There is no truth. There again, he say he hate lying. Okay, he has a controversy because there ain't no truth. Read on. No mercy. No true mercy. Okay, you trying to give a gift during Christmas, Christmas time. You ain't nothing but a plum hypocrite. Don't show no mercy, no appreciation. Read on. No knowledge of God in the land. No knowledge of God in the land. Because if you did have it was knowledge of God in the land, you wouldn't be keeping these false high so-called holiday, holidays. Okay? But you will be keeping God's holy days. Hosea 4 and 2, read on. By swearing uh -huh. and lying. That's what we do. That's what these holidays are bring about. Read on. Swearing and lying and what? And killing. People getting killed. Okay? I think the crime rate probably go up during these times, all these old wicked holidays. And killing and what? And stealing. And you getting ripped off by these stores, jacking up prices. Okay? Trying to hustle and bustle you and stealing and what? And committing adultery. And committing adultery. They bring forth all that too, okay? Especially Valentine's Day. And no tell. I ain't going to just put emphasis on that day, but committing adultery, that's wicked as all get out. Okay, read on. They break out. Uh-huh. And blood touches blood. Yeah, again, blood touches blood. I want people killing, killing each other, okay? So, again, brother and sister, I'm going to stop right there. I was on the road there. I hope y'all enjoyed the 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Soraya again, and to my side here. Soldier O'Shea. Soldier O'Shea, and we appreciate your time. Hope you learned something. Let it be food for your thought and definitely healing to your spirit. With that, I say shalom. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.